What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Corner Red, and we back for some more of that Ali Land boxing talk, people. And today we talking Manny Pacquiao, boxing's GOAT. Alright, y'all. Uh, so we all know what the GOAT stands for, you know. That's the greatest of all times. If you uh, don't know, so. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I just wanted to do a little talk about why I feel like Manny Pacquiao is today's boxing GOAT. You know, there, uh, to me, there have been, I would say, five legendary GOATs in boxing uh, that I've had the opportunity to watch. And uh, that would go from, uh, I would say, I would start from the 80s up until today. And uh, if you ask me, I would say those guys are Muhammad Ali, number one. Uh, and this is not in any particular order. If I put it in order, it would be in different order. But I'm just going to name off the five guys I feel like are the boxing goats. Uh, that I've got to see from the 80s to today. So Muhammad Ali, number one. Mike Tyson, number two. Manny Pacquiao, number three. Uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, number four. And my wild card would be... It would be a split between Vladimir Klitschko and... Roy Jones Jr. with a toss-up of Bernard Hopkins. So actually, I would make that a three-way split because Bernard Hopkins, to me, is a very special fighter, uh, along with Vladimir Klitschko. And uh, even though I didn't like Roy when he was fighting, uh, you can't take anything away from what Roy Jones Jr. was able to accomplish in the sport of boxing. And uh, I would say for the past 10 years, even with the Marquez loss, even with the loss supposedly to Floyd Mayweather, even with the robbery uh, by Tim Bradley, which everybody knows was a robbery, even with the robbery by Jeff Horn, uh, Manny Pacquiao has stood the test of time. And it's not only because he's backed by a country, the Philippines and the Filipino people, uh, who, who just adore the man and you know he, he is Pacquiao the king over there uh, not only that but he's been the most exciting fighter of the past decade you can say two decades he's been the, the uh, not only the most exciting fighter the most fan friendly uh, the most generous you know uh, I would say he's a humanitarian, you know, a family man, uh, uh, a God-fearing man, if you want to put that in there. Uh, but not only all those things, one of the most dynamic boxers anybody who's gotten the opportunity to watch him has ever seen. You can put Manny Pacquiao's fight film up against anybody's, and I think he is would be the more interesting to watch. And there's a, to me, there are a few factors of why that is, you know. To watch a guy go from basically flyweight to welterweight will never be done again in, in the sport of boxing. It'll never be done. And that's a, a record that would never, ever be broken again. Uh, not only that, to, to move up in those weights so fast, like Max Kellerman said, to be line, linear champion all the way from, you know, I think it was 100 and, what was it, 107 pounds, something like that, 137, uh, something like that, all the way up to welterweight, you know, 107 pounds, I think that's where he started, somewhere around there. To go all the way up to welterweight and not only beat the biggest names, you see how he dominated Cotto. Uh, sorry for the footage being a little blurry, but, you know, it is what it is. This is YouTube, so can't make everything perfect. <laughs> but uh, you see how he was dominating these guys. You know, Cotto, uh, Margarito, De La Hoya. Uh, it, 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 
it says something about his abilities. It says something about his his athleticism. It says something about him as a sportsman, and it also says something about his fighting spirit and his his willingness to give the fans what they want. His willingness to engage. You know, you could go on on and on and on ranting and raving about just how talented this guy is. You know, and uh, now he's forty years old and still dominating the sport of boxing in ways only Manny Pacquiao can accomplish. You know, there are not too many other fighters who are going to be able to put power, speed, angles, and, and a left-hand punch that's unmatched in the sport of boxing. That's never going to be done again, you know. And I know that a lot of people are going to say, well, you, you can't say he's the GOAT because nobody ever beat Floyd Mayweather. Well, this is true. This is very true. No, nobody ever beat Floyd Mayweather. But when you when you really break it down and look at it, if you compare these guys' career based on excitement, fan friendliness, and who was better for the sport all around, uh, I think nobody can argue with the fact that it's going to be Manny Pacquiao. You know, all around, he, he's just been great for the sport of boxing. All around, you put Manny Pacquiao next to any other fighter, that fighter becomes uh, a, no longer just a good name. He becomes a great fighter at that point. He actually becomes pay-per-view sellable at that point. So Manny Pacquiao, they can look at as the savior of the sport of boxing uh, from 2015 on because, you know, Mayweather was in, he was out, he was in, he was out. And Pacquiao was the guy there putting on these dynamic fights, selling out these events, and, and uh, making people rich 